Welcome to another Reaper Blog tutorial. Today we're doing a script showcase for MST5K, also known as the Advanced MIDI Note Selector by Lemmershand. This tool is similar to the MIDI Note Filter built into Reaper, but I find it to be a lot simpler and uh, more intuitive to use. Let's take a look. I'm going to link to the forum thread where you can uh, get the download link and install instructions and all that kind of stuff. Basically, you install it through Repack, and the only catch that I ran into is that it was marked as a beta or pre-release, and you need to um, enable that extra function in Repack uh, to download it, synchronize automatically, that kind of stuff. But installation otherwise was very simple. If you've used any user scripts before, it's going to be exactly the same. So link in the description for this. When you have this script installed, you'll find it in the MIDI editor action list as the name MIDI selector tool. And there are other MIDI selector tools, so it can be a little confusing. I'm sure in the future, the name might change and things like that. But at the time of recording in late January 2021, uh, this is the name of the script. And when you run it, it gonna, it's going to pop up, usually docked somewhere. Uh, but here we go. Here it is. This select button takes all the settings and applies it to the select MIDI item. And then capture takes data from your MIDI item and puts it into the tool. For example, I've got this demo track here. Just a couple synths and a drum machine. So I'm going to use this tool and kind of teach you as I go, as I kind of tweak the velocities and change the MIDI notes and things like that. It's a very simple project, but just think about how this, this can be used in more complex projects. So trying to keep things simple so that we can learn together. I've got these drums here, pretty simple stuff. Um, I'm actually going to remove all the velocity changes. I've got this soloed. Sounds like this. So let's start off with the kick. I'm going to right click in the MIDI editor on a key so that it selects that note. And then I'm going to press the capture button inside of MST 5K. And so now my uh, my pitch settings have set to just the C, the, the C note. So, um, and it also limited the minimum and maximum range to just that octave. I want um, beat three. Um, I want this beat here, which I believe if I press five. I, I keep messing this up. Nope, not five, nine. There we go. So if I want this beat, to be a little bit weaker than uh, the initial hit. Now that I have this selected, I can tweak the velocity here. I'll just bring that to like 102 and see how that sounds. I'm gonna right click on the clear button and that will do a global reset. So all sections of this will be reset. A single left click will just clear your selection normally. So a right click clears all of the settings. If you hover over any of the controls in here, you get this info box. So for select, uh, select notes based on settings, right click, select in time selection, and shift left click, invert filter. If we want to invert the selection, here's what you would do. So let's say I right click on the, the note for my hi-hat and I hit capture, and then I shift left click on the select button, and that will invert my selection uh, to everything but the hi-hat here. So let's clear that. We will modify the hi-hat here. So I'm going to capture, and let's change this so that um, beats one, five, nine, and 13 are going to be a lower velocity. So I'm gonna hit select now. That's modified my selection to be every other note. And so I can come over to the MIDI editor 
and uh, adjust the velocity now. Here's what you have. Maybe a little less. All right, let's move on to the the first synth here and open up that in the editor. What I actually want to do here, if I select all and hit capture, and then um, what I want to do is take the first note of each bar and the third note of each bar and then put them into different octaves. So let's solo this so you can hear what this sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so I want to take the first note and the ninth. And so that's that's giving me beat one and three uh, in each bar. Uh, now that I have that selected, I just come over to MIDI editor. When you go from the script into the editor, just make sure that you're clicking into somewhere where you're not going to lose your item selection. So clicking the ruler, that will move your, um, your time position, uh, which is fine but if you click actually into the editor you're going to lose that that selection so what i usually do is just click below the info bar or above the piano roll and then now my midi editor is selected but i haven't lost uh my selection so i'm going to use my shortcut to go down one octave and then let's modify the selection to be on five and 13. So now the notes that are at beat two and beat four get selected and I'm going to go up an octave. So I'm clicking back into the editor and then pressing up. Maybe this is something that the developer can add in here. Once you press the select key, um, keyboard shortcuts will then be sent to the MIDI editor. I think that's something that for me would really speed up the workflow. Um, because whether this is a docked or not, keyboard shortcuts are going to the script, or it's it's like the MIDI editor doesn't have focus. So if I want to immediately change octaves, move something up or down, left or right, I have to click with the mouse. And for me, it's a little bit slower. Now let's hear this. And while I have those selected, I'm just going to raise up the velocity a little bit, which uh, is controlling the filter. If I want to invert that filter, it's a shift left click. And so every other note is selected. I'm just going to scale the velocity up a little bit, to kind of compress it, and then scale it down. I'm just using a control mouse wheel. Uh, adjust value for events, mouse wheel, mini controller only. Drums and this arpeggio synth. I think I'm just going to do a manual edit here because all the snares are a little bit too loud. So I'm going to scale that down to 108. All right, moving on to the last synth. All right, for this example, what I want to do is take the second note that's in here, because this is just a chopped up eighth note thing. And I don't want to delete the second note to extend the first note. So actually just going to do it from here. It should be beats uh, three and 11. Yeah, um, I always mess up. I always get confused by the, the numbers here, but there's there's 16 steps. For, uh, for each bar. And so beat uh, step three and 11 uh, are selected now for all pitches because I didn't adjust the pitch. I didn't use the capture function. Bringing my focus back to the MIDI editor, I hit delete. And now I'm going to select all in beats one and nine, or steps one and nine and select. Now I'm gonna drag the edge of one of these MIDI notes and uh, extend that note. So now it's a quarter note and followed by two eighth notes. So 
So let's capture that, invert my selection, and now I will scale the velocity down a little bit on those, uh, the eighth notes. The full thing with a little bit of velocity and dynamic changes here. Um, pretty simple stuff, but hopefully improved. So hopefully you can see that this is a very helpful and effective tool for working with MIDI. Um, it's a great way to select every other note it's, or uh, you know odd numbers of notes and things like that. This is a free tool made by a Reaper user and I really like it. So that's it for this video. Links to everything I talked about will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.